Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be going through Psalms 107. I'm going to be working, looking at verses 1 and then verses 33 through 43. So this Psalms is written by an anonymous author, meaning we do not know who wrote it. However, this psalm is very important. It is about how thankfulness to God should constantly be on the lips of those whom he has saved. The psalm was written to celebrate the Jews returning to Jerusalem from their exile in Babylon. No matter our situation, good or bad, amazing or horrible, we should remember how much God loves us and praise him always. It is because of his love and faithfulness that we can have joy even amongst sorrow or pain. Or both. So we're going to look at the verse. So we're going to start with verses 1 and then we'll go into 33 through 43. So verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And then 33 through 43. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty grounds, and fruitful land into a salt waste, because of the wickedness of those who lived there. He turned the desert into a pool of water, and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live, and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them, and their numbers greatly increased, and he did not let their herds diminish. Then their numbers decreased, and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wander in a trackless waste. But he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shout their Oh, shut their mouths. Let the one who is wise heed these things and ponder the loving deeds of the Lord. So sometimes the deeds that the Lord does doesn't seem very loving, but in the end, you will see that it actually is out of love. He doesn't, I mean, he loves us more than we can imagine. But he's not just going to give you everything. No, that's not true love. True love is an unconditional love, but it's also a tough love. Where if you do something, then there's a consequence to that something, good or bad. And God is the decider of those consequences. So... This psalm speaks of four different types of people in distress and how God rescued them. He rescued the wanderers, prisoners, the sick, and the storm-tossed. We all have fallen into one of these categories, or all of them, at one point in our lives. And if you haven't yet, you will. No matter how extreme our calamity is, God is able to break through to help us. He is loving and kind to those who are distressed. If you call out for him in the midst of your trouble, he is right there for you. He's not just going to leave you there. It may take him a little longer to answer your prayer, and he may not answer it in the way that you want him to or think he should, but he will answer you. And he will be there for you. Those who are never truly who have never truly suffered, 
may not appreciate God as much as those who have matured under hardship. Those who have seen God work in times of distress have a deeper insight into his loving kindness. If you have experienced great trials, you have the potential for great praise. I know in my short 21 years of life, I have had, I have been through many trials and have had many troubles. Some that I thought I would never get out of or that I could never come back from. But as I look, as I have grown in my faith, I have looked back on all those and God was right there. Even in the ones that I wasn't a Christian yet, God was right there. He was protecting me. He was looking out for me. So one of my favorite quotes is actually on this necklace that I'm wearing. It's, your world's not falling apart, it's falling into place. So. I kind of broke that down because there's a lot of different meanings. Um, your world might seem like it's falling apart, but with God's loving kindness, your world is actually falling into place. Trust God's plan even when you cannot see the full picture. The only way that your world can seem like it's falling apart, but in reality it's not, is if you have God and you have his love and his kindness and his joy and his self-control like if you know that he's there for you and he has a plan for you then you can see through all the broken pieces in your life and be like oh God has put me back together may not be the way that I think or that I want but it's the way that he wants and that he has planned for me. And that's even better than what I could ever think of. He loves you so much that he's going to take all those broken pieces and like a puzzle put it back together. But he's going to put it back together better. He's going to make you better through all the trials that you, have, that you are going through or will go through. He's going to make you better. He's going to help you further his kingdom with your story. So even when your world seems like it is falling apart, it's not if you have God's love. It is falling into place. You are following his plan for you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.